Hello, welcome to another exciting episode of the asset browser that we're building from scratch here in Houdini using PySide and uh, Python here. All right, let's, uh, I'm using also Holy Haven, which is a big part of this, of course. Uh, all right, so there we go. Let's start with today. Let's not waste any time. Here's the browser that is going to be the result of this video. Uh, if you did the, uh, homework, I guess, in quotes that I left you, uh, you need, needed to do the similar assets and you can see the similar assets is, looks exactly like this. Of course, I'm using the same, uh, item that we use for this. I also added a little bit of styling to the, to the tags here. So they don't look exactly like buttons and look a little bit more interesting. Um, so the, uh, the, uh, tags are here, the, uh, you can click on these guys and get the, uh, get those to load as well here. As if we click on one of these, of course it loads, uh, that, uh, but similar ones, if you click on it, it also loads those images here and loads similar assets for this one that you just clicked as well. So, and then now, um, the, the downloading it's done with this button here. So if you click here, it's going to download. Uh, in this case, it, it downloaded, but it, it couldn't assign it because I didn't have a light uh selected but i can do that here let me just make it any bigger for doing this uh let me go here and create an environment light here if i just assign it now it's assigned there also i fixed the issue of of the uh light night not being available in the viewport uh because we're we're assigning it before it finished downloading so and uh, now that is fixed, if we can see, if we download some, let's change this to maybe 2K. It's going to download. Oh, that was already downloaded. Let's try 4K. So yeah, that is downloading and you can see it's going to. There, uh, I, I, there was a little bit of change there, but we can get another one like this one. Download it and it's downloading and it assigns it after it's being downloaded. And there we go. So that fixes the issue of. Uh, the, uh, image is not being, uh, uh correctly, uh, viewed in the viewport, uh, that we were experimenting before. So there you go. We're going to uh, do those things here and, um, and get this working, uh, with the, also with the similar assets here and, and do some styling on the, on the, uh, tags here. All right. Uh, let's start with that. Let me, as always, just switch to the. To the current version that we are all working with. This is going to be version 10 already. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. So this is what we have. We don't have any styling here and we don't have final sign final assets. And that's going to be it for now. Let's just make Dini go to the side and open my dev kind of desktop. I can even Collapse that. We don't need any like that right now. So, all right. We're going to need a few things. Okay. So first, before we even uh, start coding, I'm going to need uh, a variable to hold the assets. Uh, you can see we have uh, the, the data asset. We're going to have another one that holds all the assets. But also I'm going to need a one that's going to hold the current asset name. So we can reference this for every, everywhere on, on a program. So current asset name is going to be called, come on, current asset name. That's just going to be because we're using the asset name to do many things on the, on the app. I'm just going to start that as none, just so we can check if if we need to check if this is none or not. All right. So the, uh, the, the similar assets section here is going to be exactly the same as we did for the tags, right? I mean, we did that for, for, for tags over here, right here. It's going to be exactly the same. So we're going to get from the, uh, the designer here. Let me bring the designer over here. Uh, just experimenting. I was trying to give those tags a little bit of roundness, but for some reason, Houdini doesn't um, render the the roundness of the button. So I'll try it again and see if we can get those working. Um, so I also renamed this to download and assign. 
Uh, right now we want to get this uh, assets, this assets widget to give it a, a flow layout just like we did with the uh, tags. So that's what we're going to do here. So basically we're just going to copy this and assign it, right? Uh, exactly the same way. But before we do that, we need we need the um, those two objects here, okay? So we need those two uh, those two widgets here. We need the similar widget, which is gonna where put the uh, the flow layout, and we need this download button because we're gonna enable that when we click on it. We're gonna download something, right? So we wanna have that, but we're also gonna make a connection of this button. Um, let's just do it right now. Download, download button. Uh, when we click this button, uh, we're going to connect it to some function. In this case, it's going to be the, I'm going to create a, a function called download asset, which is not, it's not yet written in quotes because it kind of is in a way. You're going to see how, what I mean by that. But when we go to that section, when we, so remember when we click on one of these guys, and I want to do that right now because when we click on these guys, it tries to download uh, right now. So I don't want that to be happening. Uh, let's go to that section over here. This project's getting big. So you can see when we click on the asset, it goes and, and chose the properties, loads the previews. Then here, uh, starts to download the assets, right? This is where the, everything we need for to download in the, the actual assets. So this, this part here, we're actually gonna, uh, we're gonna just divide it here and right? just like that, we're gonna just declare this section as the download download uh, asset uh, function here. And this is basically just became a new function here. So, yep, this is going to be a new function. And we're going to fix this name in a second. Uh, it's going to be, which is actually going to be the the current name assets that, that I, we just created. Remember, we just created that that variable here. So we're going to be using actually actually here. When we get the asset that we clicked on, we are getting it that as a name, but now we're going to uh, store that uh, globally, I guess, on, on the class with this name, right? So we have, we can use this in different areas here. For example, here, we're just printing it to see which one and here to load it. And then here in this other function, we can do the same, right? So this, if that name doesn't exist on this, uh, function, but since we, we have this as a property of the, of the current object, uh, which is the mix asset browser, the current class, we can use it here. So that's where we did that. And then we just have this, this thing. Uh, and actually I just did this completely wrong, right? Because I'm, I'm missing an either. I'm not sure exactly why is this is not complaining. Should I complain that that thing doesn't exist? Uh, all right. Let me just give me one second. Right, so now we have those things and now download assets are not going to be cold right now. So that's good because I want to actually be clicking on stuff here and I don't want it to be uh, just loading all the time or downloading files right now. I'm not going to be downloading even if I change this to 8K. That is not going to be even uh, cold. Uh, the other thing I want to fix here uh, now that we are uh, working on this class is you know, we had this assigned class, uh, assigned uh, function here at the bottom, and we disabled that because we also didn't want it to be uh, using that, but that's going to be called from the download uh, asset uh, button now, the download and assign button. So now we can actually say, here we're saying if, if the file is already uh, downloaded locally, don't download it but then it's not doing anything here. So what we're going to do here is say, if if it's down, if it's not down, I mean, if it's downloaded, just assign it here. If, if it's already downloaded, just assign the, the, the HDR. 
Now, if if we're downloading it, we want to assign it when we finish, which is the thread complete one. So we're going to assign it here. So we're going to say eh, assign uh, HDR. So that way, did we when we assign the HDR to the uh, to the light, it's always going to be uh, working on the viewport. That's the error that we used to have before. So that's going to be fixed now for that. Which that is, uh, it's good. Great. Download assets. Let me go to the download assets. Uh, download asset is here. Uh, great. So this is, this is going to be working fine. Do -do -do. And I want to actually rename this. Uh, we have download asset, download image. I want to rename, rename this to worker because we're never calling this directly. We're only calling it here uh, from the worker like that. So just to make a distinction that this class, we're not really calling it directly. Uh, and we probably shouldn't because it's going to require a progress callback uh, um, uh, signal. So I'm just going to call that uh, like that. So we have it. Uh, we know exactly why this image is this function it, it's doing there. And then this is downloading the asset, which is actually downloading, uh, calling the whole thing, right? All right. So now that we have that, let's make the layout that we need here for the assets, uh, for the similar assets. And then we can, uh, do uh, assign them assets there, which is going to be here. Something really similar to the tax view, actually exactly the same, the same thing there. So. It's going to be really, really, really the same thing. So let me just start to this. We have, uh, create a similar view with the another flow layout. Uh, the similar widget is going to be assigned to that. We're going to set that layout in that similar widget and we just set the space into zero. So that way we have now the, uh, the widget or the layout that we're going to put here in the similar assets exactly the same way we did with tags. So if you don't know how I did, we did that, uh, we can see, you can see the previous video and see how that happened. It was pretty, pretty simple, right? Okay. So let's, let's now, uh, create that, uh, that, that functionality of populating the, the similar assets there. Okay. So which is going to be the, I guess the, the biggest part of this lesson here. And also it's not going to be that different because it's going to be very similar to what we already did, uh, for downloading the other assets, like, uh, here, loading assets, it's going to be completely similar to this thing. Uh, and we're basically going to just do copy some of this stuff, uh, to the other one and, and do that really, because it's going to be exactly the same thing, uh, that we are doing here. Okay. So let's do, do let's do that. Uh, why do I still have this thing? Let's see some of this stuff. It's not even used and I don't know exactly why we still have it here. Probably should just delete this. Not sure exactly why I have all this stuff here. Probably should just remove categories URL. Is that even you somewhere? Uh, I don't think we're using any of this anywhere. Uh, let's see. Let's just run this. If, uh, if I broke something no, seems like everything is fine. Yeah. We didn't need any of that. So let's just remove that because it's getting, it's getting confusing there. So what are we going to do here? It's actually, since we need to get, uh, the, a uh, similar assets, we need to call the website and get the assets, get that, the, get that, um, JSON file and then apply it here. We're going to do something really similar to this that we have here, uh, which could 
we could make a new function that handles both cases, uh, but that is uh, something that we're gonna be like doing uh, as a maybe as a polish phase or, or maybe later. But for now, here uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so load assets, load asset preview. So I'm gonna do it right here. Here, I'm gonna make a new function here. I'm gonna call this uh, load similar asset. Similar assets. And this is gonna take self and an asset name like that. So here I'm gonna copy and paste that. I mean, paste this, all this stuff that I gonna get, get this URL. Uh, all this I need really, all this part from this asset. Copy and paste it here. And we're gonna fix this because this is not gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna not gonna work like that. So first the URL is gonna be different. Remember that I, uh, I gave you that URL last week. Um, here is this URL that we're gonna use for that. So let's copy this URL. And this is the URL that we're gonna use for, for this. Let's paste that there. And if you see this URL, we just need to change the name here at the at the end of this. So let's uh let's do that. I'm gonna use the new the way that I am doing this now with format, which I really, really enjoy because it looks a lot like Rust. Uh, format and it's gonna be the asset name. So that's the simplest way we can get the uh, the URL there. Then we get the uh, do the request here. The uh, the JSON. This is gonna be called similar because this is the similar assets. Similar. I'm just gonna call this similar assets here and then uh, here for the uh, for the loop here, we're just gonna do it from the similar. So we have the JSON files here and then the key, uh, we're gonna go from each key on the similar assets here. And then this is creating a Tom, uh, again, a, a mixed asset item, which we created for this. We're gonna do that, but this is calling it with a very, very, very big size. So we are going to use uh, a different size for this because we want this to be smaller. We don't want it to be the same size, right? Uh, come on. Uh, and I'm just, just eyeball or just uh, did this similar size that I want to use for this. It's going to be 180 by 120. Again, this, we can make this dynamic or just divide this by some number and, and, and use that but I'm just gonna use that for now, similar size. And then here we have, we created an asset with this size, with this name. Uh, we still give it the, uh, we still give it uh, an object name. We can delete this line. And then here, uh, here in this part, it's gonna be the same. We are going to change the size here as well, so the similar, <laughs> similar size height here. Let me remove that. Similar size height. So we get uh, 120 in this case. And then we request that to the uh, network request. We have the uh, assets view, of course. We wanna do that for the similar assets uh, view similar view. So this is now adding the widget uh, that we're requesting here to the similar assets view that we just created. Now here, we're not gonna, we're not gonna check uh, any of this. We're not gonna check if this is cached because we're not gonna cache those. And then it's just gonna go directly to downloading this. Uh, which in this case, do uh, it's fine. Since complain about too many lines. And then we uh, queue the download, and then we are also gonna add a connection to the same asset clicked uh, function. So whenever we click on one of this, uh, it loads 
the uh, the the tags and the new preview images here. So that is great because this is again is very very similar to what we did here. Of course, we we might uh, be able to just create a, an object class of this or a class with all this stuff or one function to load this and and do that. But for now, I'm just gonna do it like this. Also, this part here is not even being used at all as well. So let's just delete that part. I'm really sure, pretty sure that stuff is not even being used. Uh, all right. So now we have this. And if we, if we load this, uh, nothing's going to happen because <laughs> this, the, this function is never being called. So we need to call it somewhere. Uh, and we are going to call that when we click the asset, right? When we click this guy, we need to call it. So let's go to where we click it. As it clicked, so we now we have a really short function for when we click it because we're spreading stuff to different functions here, right? And we're gonna do the same here. Uh, instead of loading the asset previews, well, we're we're loading the asset previews, but we're also loading load uh, a similar assets, and we need to pass the name, and we just get that to the current asset name. Again, we just have this guy. Uh, Created here, but we can call it from everywhere as we're doing here. So now if we do that, let's see, we should see some assets loading there. And there they are. Look at that. Awesome. And you can see that those are loading from, from the website and they are, uh, they are. All right. So you can see they we're loading more because we didn't clear this layout. Remember, we had to do that, but. See, these guys are loading from the website. And if we click one of them, you can see it loads, loads the new images here. Cool. That is pretty cool. But we need just to, we need to clear it. So let's go to the, just like this. Same thing we did here for the, uh, for the previews. We're going to do for the similar assets. So let's do that on, um, on the similar assets here before we even See if I grab that. Mm, I didn't. So let's just self that clear layout and the layout. Well, it's this one similar assets view that we are populating. And that is now clear. Let's uh, try it again. Click and you can see it's populating. We click somewhere else and it clears and it we have new new previews there, new similar assets, which is great. If we want to make those bigger, we can change the. Uh, the uh, number here, the height. What is happening? To come on, two hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, my numpy is not available. Great, that's why. Two hundred. Let's see if that makes them a little bit bigger. And it does. Look at that. That's a little bit bigger. They're not getting wider, so maybe we need to change this as well. So yeah, that I had like 180. Of course, what well, I'm just doing one uh, size here, but you can see they are a little bit bigger now, which is great. Right, cool. All right, so we have that done and they are working. And when we click it, it loads here. Now we need to do something with the download because uh, we're not doing anything with download at the moment. So let's get to that. We are... Did I already created the, uh, the function? Let me go and check. So we have the download asset function. Oh yeah. We, we split this, right? Okay. So we're doing that. Okay. So this, this is already working, right? We have this working already. Let's see. Do I have a, are we assigning the light and everything here? Oh yeah, we're doing okay. I just I wasn't just looking at that, but we have we have the light and everything. Let me re refresh this desktop because I'm just I have a little bit of a mess here. Okay, so I had this selected. That was like uh, I didn't know that this was selected. Let me deselect it to just see that something is happening. Okay, so. Yeah, we still get this because uh, it needs to have a light. But if we do this, download, it is functioning. Awesome. That is working. I want to get a better message to this little function there. 
uh, it's all the way to the bottom. So let a light uh, to assign HDR. Let's just do that. Do it like that. That's a little bit more, um, a little bit more clear what needs to happen there. And that is great. The old, the other thing we're gonna need to do is uh, if you if you do some more. Clicking around in the similar assets. Let's go. Let's set up for that again. We are going to get an error because right now we are relying on the data only for this category. If we uh, go too far into the uh, similar asset, let me make this bigger. See, sometimes you get some assets that are not on this category. Like, let's say, let's find something. Like this one, this fireplace. I know this one is going to fail and see it fails. And the, the reason this fails is because let's go to four, uh, four eleven there, line four eleven. So we are getting, we're the line on self data. And if you remember self data, it's getting only the, uh, the assets from the current, uh, category. Like let's go to here and see. Self data has been assigned, but this data, this content is only coming from the category we are uh, loading, right? So if we are in the in the uh, studio category, this fireplace is not on the studio category, so it doesn't find it in data. And that's why I actually created another another function to hold all the data and 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 we can get it from there. And that's going to be OK, because that is going to be uh, Pretty, uh, pretty light. It's not gonna have so much stuff on it. So it's cool if we have like that data there. And I'm gonna call this self. I'm gonna create another function here. All data. I'm gonna call it all data. And it's gonna hold all data, not just the data from the from the um, class. Do -do. So let me not do that. Let's go to. Uh, so we are going to be loading, we're going to load these assets and we're going to have another function. They're going to load all the assets. So it's going to be, it's going to be very sim simple function, really. So let's go to the load assets function, which is right here. So here we have this, and this is what we want. This, this part here is what we want. Uh, part of this really, not, not all of it, but let's call this left load. Um, all, all assets like that. And then we need, we really don't need anything here. We need this URL because this is the URL that has all the assets there. And let's do that. Let's grab that one. Uh, we also need uh, the request and the data here. That's really all we need here. Okay. Come on. We need that part there. What did I do? Come on. <laughs> All right. This is going to be like that. So we need the URL, which is going to be this loading all the assets. Let's remove some about instead of putting it in the old in the data, we're going to put this in all data. So this just gives us all the, uh, all the HDRIs on the on on the website. So this means now that in, in, instead of using uh, all data here in 411 here, here where we're trying to to load assets, uh, the similar assets or the previews, uh, instead of getting it from data, we just get it from all data, and and that makes sure that that asset exist on data so because if, if we don't do that it's gonna be like it's gonna have errors so let's replace all this in this function all the calls to data it seems like those are the only ones so data uh that is fine here self data we just change that okay so we're fine so here instead of loading from data we're loading from all data which again Data is only going to contain the current category and we need to, when we are on the, um, loading similar assets, similar assets could, could come from another different category and we, 
want those to work as well. So, okay, so we have something uh, wrong here for 17. Let's see what I did here. Uh, all data. Oh, we're never setting all data or what? Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Self all data equals to this. And that should be fine. What is happening? Uh, all data. Oh, yeah, I think we need to change something there. Let me see what I did. Uh, uh, uh. No, this seems to be fine. Oh, I think it's on load asset, asset, load asset, previews, all data. Yeah, this is good. Load asset, data, load self, all data, asset name, um, asset name, name, should be fine. Let's try printing this data here something i'm doing something wrong here oh i know what i'm never calling this function yeah so we are calling the uh, load assets here but we're never ca calling that that function of course we need to call it self dot uh load mm -mm -mm -mm. load all data what did it call that See what is the name of that thing? Load assets, load, load all assets is this one. Okay, just making sure that I'm calling the right function, and we're calling this this here when we initialize the the uh, the the class. We just call it, and we have that available uh, all the time. We just call it once, and that's another good thing. We're not calling this uh, any time every time, so we just like. There, it already happened and it's already available everywhere. So now if we click here, let me just, uh, and we get so something weird, like this blinds is also not part of that, but it works, right? And like this Kiara interior might not even be part of that. Uh, this any anniversary launch and they are all working here and they are uh, loading stuff there. I'm not sure exactly how to get to that fire one. Again, yeah, there it is, fireplace, it loads, right? It's because, again, we're calling from all data, and all data is being loaded. All right, this is fantastic here. Let's check that we are looking at the images here in the viewport. If I uh, download this one, it says select the light because I don't have the light selected, sign it, and there it is. It's the fireplace, if I want a higher quality one, like. 8k downloaded and it's been downloaded here which is great i'm not not um opposed to this uh bar here now i think i'm, I'm liking it so you can see this is, looks much better now because we downloaded the 4k version but uh yeah all this stuff should be working correctly now uh, we're now in the outdoor section we can Okay, this one, look at this uh, previews, download this one. Oh, I'm downloading the 8K, which is not what I want. <laughs> That's a, a big image, but uh, but yeah, this works. This is in a sign and everything. Now, the only thing we're gonna do here, just to close this, you're gonna add a little bit of style to this tags because just looking like buttons here, looks a little bit too plain. Uh, we can also add some styling for these buttons as well. Uh, so I'm gonna do do this, and maybe you can do those buttons if you want as a as a homework or something like that. Okay, so let's do that. That's gonna be pretty simple, really. We already did something like this. I'm clicking all over the place in the wrong places. If I don't shell, it's already there. Why am I clicking it again? Uh, let's make this like this. All right, cool. So we already did some styling for the actual images here. Like you can see these buttons, we did some styling of this. So we're gonna do exactly the same for, for the for the tags here, for these tags. So let's go to where the tags are being assigned, which is gonna be right here, here. So we're creating, we're just creating straight a, a Q button, Q push button there directly. 
uh, we I don't want to do that now. I want to do a little bit more stuff here. I'm gonna, gonna it's gonna happen here inside this loop. I'm gonna create a, a tag button, and it's gonna be uh, equals to a Qt widget. Uh, Qt widgets Q push button exactly the same, and this is gonna take exactly the same name tag. Just like it's doing here. But instead of just passing it directly, we're gonna create it first. And then we just pass it here, tag button. And the reason we want to do that is because we wanna add uh, some style into this. I'm gonna copy this style so you can see what I'm doing here. I mean, you could say you got you don't want to be looking at me doing this forever. Paste, no, not paste. That is that. Come on, there we go. So we have some style here that I did. I explained what I did. So I'm doing some styling for the button here. So setting some style uh, to the push push button. I'm change the background color to this uh, gray color, and then the the text. I'm changing it to white. I'm giving it a border, and this was the my attempt on making the. Uh, the, the button uh, rounded, which it worked on on Qt Designer, but not sure exactly why it's not working in Houdini. Uh, we keep it in a border of a little bit of a gray color, and then a radius, which again didn't work. I'm giving it a, a hover color, so I'm just making it a little bit darker when when I hover the button over them. Uh, and then I'm giving the uh, when we press the button. Uh, when we start styling the button, if we don't give it a, a hover and press, they just stay static. So you have to do that when you start changing the, the default style of the button. Uh, when we press it, we want to uh, give it uh, the background, a uh, cyan color, and uh, the text dark, and just the border. Just give it some lighter color, but we don't really notice that much, but that's what I did, did there. So you can, if you want, you can copy this style and do it, do the same thing for these buttons over here, which would be really simple. Uh, but you can see now we have this really a little bit more interesting buttons there. I really wish I could have done uh, some uh, styling. You can also see that they are uh, the uh, layout is responsive because we are using the the flow layout that we created, so or that we got from from uh, PySide. And this is working nicely. The the tags and the uh, similar assets are working there. So if you want to have similar assets that are bigger, maybe and have this layout bigger, you can actually uh, you could do that. Right. So now if we uh, click on these guys, they are doing nothing, and that's gonna be like I guess homework for you if you want to make these guys work. But you can see if I press them, they go to cyan color. So they're doing exactly what we're saying here in this styling. And this styling is if you have ever done uh, CSS, this is basically CSS, the same thing. Uh, it's really similar to how you do CSS for a website. Right. So just so you know, I mean, it, it for doing the what I'm going to do is when you click on these tags, I'm going to load that those tags here in the main view here. Uh, so to do that, it's going to be actually really simple because if you go to the website, uh, I think I had the website here open in one of these tabs. Let me see here. So if, if you go to a website and, and look into one of these assets and you can see the tags are here at the bottom. If you look, click on, if you see the path here on, on the bottom, or you can actually maybe copy the link address, maybe. You can see this is what it's doing. I mean, it's just sending HDRIs equals to the water, actually. So that is what's happening. And if you remember what how we're loading the assets here, we're just passing a category, which is going to be basically the same thing. So if we if we if we do this category uh, with anything else with one of those tags, it's going to work. Water. Um, delete that one. See, oh, that didn't work. Uh, because I am on HDRIs, I think. So you can just go to the, um, to the, um, 
I'm not exactly sure why I did what I did the wrong, but it should work like that. I mean, you should just get, it's not a category, it's a tag, but, uh, uh, you can go to the API and see what is, is it actually that you need to, how you need to call that in the, um, in here, you can see files, other categories, and, and try to figure it out if, if you want to just load the tags. If we, if we, uh, if we later, I mean, I'm going to do that uh, next week, but if you want to go forward in class, you can maybe just assign that for yourself and be happy that you, you did it uh, on your own. All right. That is going to be it for today. Mm, I think we finished everything I was uh, set up for do today, which is great. It was a really quick lesson. And yeah, it, this is this is what I wanted to cover today, which is great. Awesome. Yeah, that's it. All right. So again, come more if you want to style these buttons. Uh, give it give these buttons some uh, functionality. Load the uh, tags here. Uh, using the the same function that we are using there should be should be able to do that to it with maybe minimal changes if not i'll teach you that next week all right thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next video all right let's keep learning together